play it yourself. Let's go check it out. Come on. So let's get started. First of all, everyone should have this worksheet right here. And on this worksheet, there are directions, but we're going to skip the directions. I do want you to notice that our IndianaExpeditions.org website at WFYI is right here at the top. And our website for Wayne uh, to show these videos that we're taking today will be there. So the first thing you want to do is cut this out. I'm going to cut the bottom. And you don't have to be so perfect on this, but we're just going to cut this part across like that. And you discard this piece right here. So basically, I'm going to make about three of these in the next ten minutes. You need to make one, and if you have time, you can make another one and bring that down to the uh, classroom with you. So my first step is to go ahead and cut this like this. I'm going to switch cameras, and we're going to cut this strip out right here like this. And if it's not exactly straight, that's okay. In fact, you don't even have to cut it out completely out of the square. So here's my first step right here, is to cut a large rectangle about 8 inches wide and a couple inches thick. It looks like this. Now the next step is kind of interesting. You're going to wrap this on your pencil, but don't wrap it straight perpendicular. I want you to turn it at an angle a little bit, back like that, and then we're going to, to wrap it and roll it like this. And so I'll do this a couple of times. And as I roll this back like this, I end up getting this really nice cone or rocket body. It looks like this. Okay? Let me put this under the other camera to show you that again. Okay? So once again, I'm going to take it, start at the front of my pencil, and I'm going to roll it, and as I roll it, it goes down, now once I get my cone like that, you notice it's still on the pencil, I'm going to take a small piece of tape, and tape it right here, once I tape that on there, let me switch cameras, once I tape that on there, this whole thing will stay on my pencil like that. And my pencil, if I'm careful, will slide out. Okay? So this is the body, the body of my rocket. And it's hollow. If you look inside, it's hollow. Okay? All right, let me switch cameras. I'm going to lay a piece of green on here so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, there's the back of my rocket and the front of my rocket. At the back of my rocket, I'm going to cut it off square like this. All I did was cut off the back of the rocket. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. The front of the rocket, I'm going to crush it. Okay, I crushed it, and then I'm going to fold it. So it's in a point. This is probably, let me switch cameras here. This is probably the most important part because we want to make that airtight. So I crushed it. See how I crushed it right there, flat? And then I'm going to fold it up like this. So I crushed it and I folded it so it makes a point. Now I'm going to take another piece of tape right here and tape it. That way it's airtight at the very end of it. So I've crushed it and folded it. Now basically what you see here is my rocket that still has my pencil going in it and the front of it is taped, taped down. 
That's the body of my rocket right there. Okay, I'm going to switch cameras and lay it there. So the front of it is pointed and the back is still open so I can get my pencil in. I'm, gonna put a little, I'm just going to put another piece of tape on it and make sure that the front is airtight. And my pencil still slides in it. That's perfect. Okay, set that off to the side. These, this other sheet right here, are the two fins that uh, we're going to use. Now, I like to save time, so I'm going to fold these in half and kind of match them up so I only have to cut them once. If you, want to, if you want to spend extra time and cut them both out at the same time, you can. But I'm going to fold mine like this and just make some cuts. So one cut here, another cut there. And by doing two of these at once, it just saves some time for me. You don't have to be perfect on these. These are stabilizing fins that help our paper rockets go straight. Okay, I'm just about finished here with these. And if I did this correctly, I should have two of them. Ah, there we go. Two of these. Okay, so we have our body and our two fins. Now, I might be going kind of fast for some of you, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and I'm going to repeat it again. All right, so we have the, the two fins. I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to fold up the wings like a little airplane. So here's my first little fold up. Here's my second fold up. And so I've made these two little jet airplanes, they look like, and that's going to be perfect for my rocket. I'm going to put my pencil back in. Now, if you notice, I got these backwards. Let me move it like that. That one's going to go like that, and that one's going to go like that. And so I need to make sure that when you put these on, you come up a little bit about like there, right about there. And I'm going to put this tape on these and tape that all the way around. Now you can you can just tape one on. That's probably the easiest to tape one on. Now you got to make sure my pencil still comes in and out of there. Don't tape your pencil. Take another small piece of tape. And I'm going to tape this one on the, on the front. Okay. Now I've got one set of fins. I'm going to repeat that with the other set of fins right about here. A small piece of tape. And you notice uh, I've got them on all the fins on four sides. So I got four right there. I got to put one more piece of tape here because you don't want that one flapping when you shoot these. So there's my last piece of tape. And if you do this right, we're finished with our paper rocket. My pencil slides in and out of it. I'm going to switch the other camera. My pencil uh, slides in and out of it. It's got the four fins on it. It's got a, uh, the point is kind of uh, sealed, and uh, we're ready to go.